If you were in charge of a country, what would you make illegal? Illegal for shorts. <laughs> shorts are illegal? Yeah. <laughs> what, you just don't like thighs? Or illegal to have glasses. <laughs> How much do you think a lawyer gets paid? A lawyer gets... What's a lawyer? What, but then, if, uh, for the people that can't see, what will happen to us? No, you'll be kicked out. <laughs> just because we're ocular challenged? Yeah, so then you can just go into another country and then uh, get uh, new eye lenses being sewed to your body and then you don't need glasses. What, well, um, can I then come back once I've had my new eyes sewn on? <laughs> What would you do if you were in charge of the country? I would uh, pick someone to be like my girlfriend and that, then someone who's an adult. Wow, well, you're gonna have uh, an adult girlfriend? Yeah, that... Well, well, I'm not gonna go out with him. He needs, you know... Like, no, that would be rude. So the first thing you're gonna do if you're in charge is pick a woman? Yeah, I would pick a woman. And how then... would you pick it? Would you just randomly pick somebody or would you have like no, a lottery? No, I would Or get... when you do a raffle. Oh, I would have a debate, so... I would get like pieces of paper, rip them up, put them in a box, shake it around. Yeah, like a raffle. And then, no, like, go around the city. Would you want to be in my raffle? And... <laughs> what would you do if you were in charge of Australia? I would give money to charity. Um, I would help the poor. I would help other people in my country and all around the world. I would create schools. <laughs> Second chances. And what uh, what would you do if you were in charge of Wales? Make Wales a more happy place. I like Stop that. Stop people chopping down trees. Yes. Ruining ruining birds' homes. Yes. And stop wrecking squirrels' nests. Stop wrecking trees. Yep. If if people were kind enough, they could they could let them you borrow their hats. That's the problem with politicians. They never deal with the issues that matter. How about you? What would you do if you were in charge of Australia? Um, I would probably... If nobody had a kitten, they would get a kitten. That's a very nice idea. And wombats. And what are we going to do about um, crime? How are we going to stop crime? Crying? Crime. People that um, are doing the wrong thing, that to soak them. Would you soak me? No. Thank you. Would you soak me? Yes. I thought that might be the case. <laughs> My dad's a police. Yeah. Is he? Well, not really. If we were going to make a new country, us three, what would you have in that country? I would have a real teddy bears. Pig, pork, vegetables, apples, chicken nuggets, aeroplane, yeah, and a pink. flying car? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, Emptiness. Emptiness. Disaster. Mm -hmm. It's bleak, isn't it? War. <laughs> we feel it. It's tempting. Dead trees. Yeah. Dead plants. <laughs> we can have a, a thing to climb. A thing to climb? Yes. Yeah, lovely. A ladder. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have a ladder. Yeah. Who would not be allowed in your country? Um, Donald Trump. Why is that? I don't like him. What is it about Donald you don't like? Because he's a bad businessman. He, like, tried to make, like, a golf club in, like, the middle of a field. Yeah. I mean, traditionally, that is a good place for golf courses, though. Um, only the, the boys can come, but only if they clean their foot. Yeah, damn straight, filthy, feated blokes. What are we going to call this magical land? I would call it Prince, Princess Girl's Land. Princess Girl's <laughs> Land. Would it have a, a, a national anthem? Yeah. OK, we'll just sing it. OK, let's sing it. Here we go. Girls and the girls and the girls and mermaids. Yeah. Fairies and angels flying around. The girls are the best ones in the whole girl land. <laughs> that was brilliant. That is definitely going to be the answer. That was absolutely terrific. What a country. So you wouldn't have Donald Trump? I have loads of people. Oh, really? Like the Prime Minister of North Korea, and I wouldn't also have Theresa May or Jimmy Cranky. So, so I mean, Theresa May you know, speaks for herself. Let's get round to Jimmy Cranky. What, what is Jimmy Cranky up to these days? Um, she's in charge of Scotland, I think. 
I see what's happened here. <laughs> yeah. Girls and girls and girls and mermaids. Yeah. What do you think makes a good leader? A guy who is respects other people's beliefs. When there's a problem, you stand up to it and, like, you do something about it. How do you think a leader talks? <laughs> Maybe how you're talking. Like, like, like I talk? Yeah. So you think I could be a leader? Yeah. But what if I said, right, children, I need you to go over there and pretend to be cows? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Mm. I'm a cow. Very good. Very good playing impressions. A guy that's independent. You look quite independent. What about now? Um, now you look uh, quite angry with someone. <laughs> okay, what about now? Um, happy. <laughs> Not more happy? I think he looks a little bit scared. <laughs> How would you sell yourself? Uh, Spanish. Okay. And I would be a senorita. You'll be a senorita? How about you? Senor. Uh, and what would I be? You, uh, you would just be an um, old man living on the street. I'm not wearing like a lady's dress. I'm, I'm an old man on the street in a lady's dress. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Drinking beer. To total comedy. No, having drugs. You're having drugs on the street, like lying down, back thingy, and then you're just gulping this. On drugs. <laughs> Drunk. In a dress. In a dress. Yes, exactly. On That's what people want these days. Take the words from that. That's exactly what they want. I would make people bring chocolate factories for me. So you're going to go on a hunt for a German Willy Wonka? Yeah, um, yeah. I also like to have eternal youth, of course, but... So you're going to live forever eating chocolate? Definitely. You don't mind me saying you're going to look like a mess. <laughs> you are going to be an absolute unit. But, but I will go into the Guinness Book of World Records for being the heaviest person in the world. Yeah, they won't be able to get a photo of you, you fat mm -hmm. nasty. Yeah. You'll be over two pages. <laughs> Any other questions? King Sammy? Yeah. Yes. Hit me. Where were you born? I was born in Bath. You were born in a bath? No, I was born in bath, but not in a bath. When um, I was young, we didn't have any money, so I was washed in the sink. Oh, that's so sad. I know it's sad. And tragic. It's not tragic, Sammy. There were different times. 